Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is really exciting because recently a TK Maxx actually opened up where I live and before we had to either travel to Yarmouth or Norwich to go shopping and get some bargains but we can finally, finally get them in Lowestoft. So first thing, this is what I got today. I've made two trips to TK Maxx in like, it's Monday, in the past four days. So this is a very nice hoodie at the minute. It's from Closure London and I love it. I love the colour of it. I've actually got backy all over it already. Ooh. And it was $16.99 and I love this. And Bobby loved the design of this as well. So he actually got a matching one but in a different colour. So everything is in this ugh, big TK Maxx bag here. And we're just going to go through the bits that we got and how much everything was. So this is Bobby's matching jumper. It's in a salmon pink. So I know the guy got the pink jumper. And I just think they're really cute. I'll show you the bottom. The back is longer than the front. And the inside is like a really nice, soft, fluffy material. And they're so warm and cozy and it's great. It's actually been really hot and sunny lately. So I don't know if we'll have much use for some hoodies, but matching hoodies are cute. I'm actually surprised I got him to agree with me to get matching clothes because everybody for some reason has the idea that pink clothes and matching clothes don't go with guys. The first thing I got when we went on the first trip were these Elise tracksuit bottoms. Now I know this is really hard to show you. So you've got the little Elise badge there one on that side as well and then the knees are actually ripped if you can see that there's a hole in the knee part which is probably the first pair of trackies that I have seen with a ripped knee I just think they're really cute I've already worn these every single day so far and I'm not complaining about them I can't remember how much they were I think they were 12 99 but I'm not 100% on that so those were literally the only clothes that we've got from TK Maxx so far. There were lots of t-shirts, lots of like Ralph Lauren, um, loads of bags. Oh my god, the bags in there. I can't justify spending so much on one bag. But there was machino bags that I absolutely loved and probably will get at some point. But the main thing that I am going to be going to TK Maxx for ooh, is all of their beauty supplies and makeup and all of their goodies. So I split this up into the two trips. The first trip I got three, three things. So I got this BH Cosmetics Eye Essential 7 piece brush set. Now this is just like eyeshadow brushes and this was 9 99 And in here, obviously you get the seven brushes. These are just supposed to be really good for applying eyeshadow. All of them have their own use. So, I know this is like really awkward to show you, but we've got a blending brush, large shader brush, small shader brush, angled blending brush, pencil brush, fine liner brush, and a small angled brush. And I really wanted to get more into doing eye looks and making my eyeshadow look amazing. So I thought buying some specific brushes might help with that because the only brushes I have like little cheap ones so I thought upgrade why not I noticed today in today's trip that they have two other sets of brushes they've got like an ex loads of I think it was a five piece face brush set and then a 12 piece like loads of brushes in there I just can't remember what they were for but haven't used these yet probably will use them in a video the next thing I got was some Stila sun gel and I didn't know what this was at first I paid $2.99 for it, but it is like a bronzing gel sort of thing. And you put it on and you obviously look tan. And I don't know if I'm going to use this. It says, <clears throat> After moisturising, apply with fingertips to face, neck and body for a natural sun-drenched look. Build over areas where sun would naturally kiss the face. So I haven't used this yet. I may use it in the future. May do it for a video. I know... If I do use it, I'm probably going to end up looking like a tangerine. 
because tanning things and bronzers I always tend to go over the top on because I'm quite a pale person and I don't realise and I'd probably end up looking like one of those tan lined little girls that didn't know how to do their makeup but just grab that because why not and then the last thing I got last time I went was this Too Faced Melted Metal lipstick now this is this was $5.99 and it's in the shade Dream House I have seen Too Faced Melted lipsticks before and I didn't know if I was going to like the application because they're just these little soft fuzzy things but it's not actually that bad if I can swatch it nicely for you it's a really bright pink so I don't know when I will use it can you see that okay You should be able to see how it's metallic ever so slightly right I don't want to get that over my nice is that coming out yeah no I don't know I'm not entirely sure how to use these but I'm not gonna pop it on my lips I usually would but my cold sore is still here begrudgingly not going anywhere so on my return to TK Maxx today when we got the hoodies I decided I also wanted to try out another one of Steeler's products which is this lip glaze and they've had to put it on like this so this was $3.99 and I didn't buy this Bobby bought this for me which I thought was cute because I got to pick a piece of makeup that I wanted now I've seen a lot of people say that Steeler's lip glazes are really good this one is in the shade Raspberry and I'm not entirely sure how to use this. I think you twist the bottom up. No? Yes? Does it say on the box how to use it? Brush applicator to apply lips. Okay. Nothing's coming out yet. Seriously, I don't know what I'm doing. Is this working? Oh, okay, I am doing it right. It's just taking its time. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's product, like, right there. Oh, it's really gloopy. I was hoping it wasn't going to be, like, really glossy. And I just realised I've pushed out so much product. But can you see how glossy and gloopy that is? It is a nice colour. Just avoid my coal saw. <laughs> I don't know. I think it looks alright. I also think this coal saw needs to go before I cut it out with my lip. Anyone got any good recommendations for getting rid of one I've literally been using every product I could find to try and get rid of it and I still can't so I am prone to them they do come back it's not like I'm a tramp who just gets them it's in my blood unfortunately now the last thing that I got is this buddy scrub hey gorgeous I'm green tea body scrub and I've never used a body scrub and I only got this one because it was cheap so hopefully it will work well. It says all natural, cruelty free and vegan friendly, which is something I do like to try and like promote and use if I like the product. I don't go out of my way to buy cruelty free and vegan, although I do want to try and change all of my products out for cruelty free and vegan. I believe Steeler is a cruelty free brand, if I'm correct. Maybe I'm not, but I could have sworn they were. I don't know I haven't really done the research but yeah so this is just like some sort of sugar scrub I think but it's a tea scrub and I guess we can open it why, why not open it today it says carefully rip off my top then it's time to get down and dirty I don't know if I even like green tea because I've never tried green tea I don't drink tea oh okay so yeah it is a sugar scrub it actually smells really good. Can you see? Can you see that okay? I don't know if you can, but kind of looks like kiwi. But yeah, 
it smells darn good. It says basically that you just get yourself all wet <laughs> and then chuck this all over your body. But that was what I got from TK Maxx. I know it's not the most interesting of hauls, but I wanted to make sure that because the store is now open, that I take advantage of that for at least one or two good hauls. I think today was probably going out. It's probably going to be like the only haul I do for a while because some of the stuff in there is quite expensive. Like each of these jumpers was seventeen pounds, and I can't just afford to spend that anymore. But it wasn't. It was like me and Bobby together for this. But I'm so happy with what I got. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I am slowly getting back in to the like what is the word I don't know slowly getting back into uploading the videos regularly I am going to be sorting out the room soon please 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 if anyone has any advice about my cold sore and how to get rid of them please tell me because it is driving me insane but leave this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you liked any of the products that I used I will be swatching them and adding them to my blog post so that'll be something to look forward to. I hope everyone has a really good day and I will see you in my next video. Ta-ra!